So very similar to oxidation, we're now going to look at reduction. And in reduction, we're removing oxygen from the carbon. So we're looking at the carbons with the oxygens attached. So those, those ones right there. And again, what's attached has big, big relevance to what you're going to be able to produce. Uh, I'm able to break the bonds of the oxygen up to the point of an alcohol, uh, but I'm not going to do anything with, with carbons that are bonded there. Okay? And, so, and so this kind of works very similar to oxidation reverse. Now, our reagents that we're going to use, so there are two. Um, one is lithium aluminum hydride, LiAlH4. And then the other one is sodium borohydride, NaBH4. So you see in, the, in oxidation we have oxygen being added, here we have hydrogen being added. And so in the case of a carboxylic acid, you would want to use this one. This one is the stronger reducing agent. Uh, and so for carboxylic acid, that's going to become an aldehyde. And then if there's sufficient amount of a reducing agent, that's going to go all the way down to a primary alcohol. Now, for the rest of these, it doesn't matter whether you use lithium aluminum hydride or sodium borohydride, but for that top one, you definitely want to use that if, if that's possible. Uh, for an aldehyde, keep in mind we're, we're taking away oxygen and adding hydrogen, so this one is going to form a single bond with oxygen, it's going to make an alcohol, and we'll end up with a primary alcohol. Uh, in the case of a ketone, we, we have capacity kind of here to take away one of those bonds, and put a hydrogen in its place, so we're going to form a secondary alcohol, and then that will be the end of that reaction, we'll kind of separate those there. And in the case of a primary alcohol, there's not going to be any reaction at all, we're kind of at the final point for reduction, we're not going to reduce it all the way to an alkane, at least not with one of these. And that's it, so when you're doing a reduction reaction, you can recognize it because you'll have one of these present, uh, again, you'll probably have an acid or a base catalyst. And then very simply, you're going you're gonna to remove bonds with oxygen down to an alcohol uh, and, and replace them with bonds to a hydrogen, and that's going to be the reduction of that carbon there.